our guest be our guest put our I'm Jillian Butterfield and I'm playing the role of Belle. Hi, I'm Joseph Fearberg and I'm in the ensemble, so I'm a townsperson and an enchanted object. <laughs> to serve, try the gray stuff. It's delicious. Don't believe me? Ask the dishes. Well, Belle is a very strong and independent character. Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with how she was raised by her family, I definitely have that in common with her. Um, and she's a huge dreamer, and I don't think that I would be where I am today if I wasn't a big dreamer as well. That is an interesting story. Uh, I actually was a figure skater for five and a half years, and I had my <laughs> I had my sights set on the Olympics. Um, however, one day during practice, I had a collision with another figure skater, and I had to stay off the ice for a while. Um, my mom saw a poster uh, for the school musical, encouraged me to go try out for it. I got cast as the lead role. I fell in love with it, continued to do it, um, went to school for it, and. Now here I am. Amazing. Even the Beast on Ice. Um, <laughs> yeah. I started, I come from a family of performers. Um, like my mom was a performer, and then my sisters don't do it professionally, but they, we all grew up dancing and singing together. And I think I was in third grade when I did my first musical, and it was called Fussin' and a Feudin, and it was a hillbilly version of Romeo and Juliet, and I had a little duet, and it was called You're the Worm in My Apple. Um, and I think that you know, William Shakespeare would be really proud. Oh my gosh, I love yeah. that. <laughs> but I was hooked ever since. <laughs> Flat, be fat and lazy. You walked in and oops, it's easy. Oh, um, I think the best advice is to be so persistent about it. And if you really want it, if it's your dream, then like you have to go for it, um, full force and. Um, just, you really have to believe in yourself, trust your instincts, and then Jill and I both went to school um, for theater, and we trained, you know, for three, four years. So I think, you know, taking dance classes, taking voice lessons, taking acting classes, I think the training and the technique is so essential um, to be competitive in the business and also to maintain your craft um, and to be able to do it eight times a week, to do it on the road, to do it anywhere. Um, but if you really love it, it will never feel like work, I feel like, you know? It's always been a passion, so it's always been really, really enjoyable. Absolutely. Um, just uh, to go off what you yeah. said, because everything you said is, is completely 100% valid. Um, uh, also, to be fearless yeah. is definitely uh, something I would like to hand off to anybody who's interested in performing. Just because I know sometimes we worry about what other people think, but it, it really... You can't worry about that because yeah. you just have to go for it and, and try new things um, because performing on stage is very scary, but it's really a rewarding experience. Absolutely. And there's nothing like being a part of something that's just a lot bigger than yourself. Yeah. And my dear, that's fine with me. While the cups do this, I'll chew it all the well, I saw Beauty and the Beast the first time in the movie theater. My mom right. took me. Um, I was really young, but I remember all the colors I was in awe of, uh, and in awe of all the characters, Belle, the enchanted objects, uh, enchanted objects, and I know that Be Our Guest was my favorite part of the movie. Oh, yeah. For sure. Yeah, I remember seeing, I think we, a lot of us in the cast, all of us in the cast, grew up seeing the movie. Um, and then I remember seeing... I think the, the first national tour back in like the 90s um, and just being totally in awe of the entire like spectacle of the production and just thinking that it had everything that it had a compelling story beautiful music like sensational dancing and then all this like true magic that happens with the set and the costumes and like it was so like lavish but but not like gaudy you know um, and I think the story at its core like has so much heart um, so I just remember being really drawn to it because it was so relatable, um, and yeah, I saw it with my family, so it just it made that memory even more special. Needing exercise, a chance to use our skill. I mean, so I was a musical theater major at Syracuse, and the first memory that comes to mind is performing uh, at Syracuse. Is um, like I, I was lucky enough to do a bunch of productions, but um, like I remember doing cabaret my sophomore year and doing White Christmas at Syracuse Stage on my senior year and those are probably my finest memories on um, that and just like being 
like on the quad on the campus I was in an acapella group and like being a part of the Syracuse community like the moment you, you step on the campus you can feel like the orange energy like, it's very electric and everyone really does bleed orange and that atmosphere is so contagious and that's something that I really remember and value and like I miss about Syracuse and you're scared, but the banquet's all prepared. No one's gloomy. So we got here yesterday, and I already have been to Strong Hearts, got a milkshake. Um, I know some other cast members went to Empire, um, love Empire, and then I have to take them to the original Dinosaur Barbecue. Because um, I feel like that if you don't, while you're here, then like you missed out. Oh. Ten years we've been rusting, needing so much more than... Well, uh... I mean, there's a lot of singing, lots of dancing, mm -hmm. laughter, romance. Um, it, it's just a fun show, but it also has such an amazing message yeah. um, to look past someone's exterior to see what's inside their heart. Um, so I definitely think that uh, it's just a great show for the entire family to see, um, small and big alike. Be our guest. Be our guest.